Hey guys, what's up? Um, I got another quick fix here for you. I just figured out how to fix my air. Very big problem air here. In Modex uh, content management system, there's an air where if you use friendly URL, you're going to get an air if you put it in a folder. Like if you installed Modex in a folder like I did, for example, if you visit my website here, this is inside a folder. Here's my original site, which I will show you. So once you click here onto my site, you see it's a different, totally different site. Kind of like if you install a WordPress theme or something, then it will be different, causing for a big disturbance. If we go back, you can see that this is a totally different website, and it is hosted on my site, and it is Modex. So from you seeing here, you can see this website is Modex. Uh, content management system and I'm going to show you how to set this up today so that when you click on these links because it's in a folder not you wouldn't get this page or your website page you would get a 404 error which you're probably saying yeah that's exactly what's happened to me I haven't found any videos on this well there is no videos on YouTube on this subject so that is exactly why I'm making it right away as soon as I figured it out so this is the website here that we're going to um, look at it real quick and you see if I click on any other page it'll take me right back to the main page because I don't have a 404 uh, redirect error page set up yet but the 404 page would be because that is trying to find an actual file name about that HTML in your FTP server so to fix this let's go over to Modex log into your Mo Modex manager and then once there head over to where it says admin or your name on the gear select system settings and wait for it to load once you hit the system settings page we're going to take a look at some key features in here to make this work now you probably are only going to do this if you don't want a URL that looks something like this so let's say you had to make a make a website and your website probably looks something like this. Uh, team page equals 1 or 62 or something like that. Right? And then it has a question mark and something like that. Well, I'm going to show you how to take that and make it friendly with just using the .html extension. Now, if you're going to use PHP extension, uh, this, is, this will work too. Uh, there's no problems with that. But you have to change uh, the HTTP folder. So let's go back to system settings. In the system settings, over here where it says search by key, right here, go ahead and type in friendly. This is where you can activate and you click clear filter to find uh, that thing. So if you come in here and we scroll down, you can see at the very bottom here it will say use friendly URL. To edit it, you click right click on your mouse and hit update the settings. Alright, so once you're in here, you're going to see this. Now, what you want to do is don't worry about any of this. Don't even touch any of that. All you need to do is turn the value here from from no to yes. And then click uh, save. And then you should see a refresh. And then it will say yes. Once that's done, you need to do one other thing. Head on over to the resource tab. Select the page that you want to use. In this case, I'll show you the about page, which is here as you can see it says about and now friendly URL should be active um, if it's not active it doesn't work click here it's a good idea to clear the catchy um, you can go to manage clear catchy uh, and then it should work now in order for it to work you need to punch in some data so let's head over here to where it says resource Alice and it's next to long title you're wondering so this is what the title of your page would be so for example if it were uh, name then up here in our URL box it would not say about it would say name dot HTML and then name so when you click on this link you have to change that in the template file and then that should go to name that thing so once you go to this website it'll take you to the same exact page here but if you go to about it'll take you to the home page because that page no longer exists so basically to make your page thing, 
the extension or the website name, you have to type in the uh, name of the page or the link that you want it to go to here. Alright, so that's all we need to do in Modex. Now we have to head over to our HT Access folder and do some editing. Okay guys, I'm back here. Alright, so if we go to our files now inside underneath of the search bar, you can see here that we have the .ht access folder. Now there's two of them. Um, we're going to need to edit both of them. So start by going to your core document file and right click on ht access and click the edit file button. We'll confirm leave because it's saying I edited that. And I'm not going to click save on anything here. Alright, so once you're here you'll see edit thing. Make sure it says core dash blah 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 ht access if you come down here now we're going to uh, this is what is already in place for you the thing you need to add is highlight in blue you need to add this to your code now of course yours is not going to say make a file it this is where you would enter the folder name that you that you put the thing in so for example if it was in a folder called uh, modex you would say modex if it was in a folder called project you would say project and uh, that's basically all you do for the core file and that will set that up so that it does work now there isn't one more file we do need to edit go on and close the core file make sure you click the save button which is over here um, and you're going to need to if you're not already you need to rename the file to .ht access because right now it's probably ht.access um, it won't work unless you do that. Now we need to go back to our root directory and change where it says HTA access or HT.access file. We need to edit this file as well. I'm not going to edit inside of Modex. I'm going to show you it in my uh, text editor here. Alright, so here is the file once you open that up. Um, this is something I coded. Okay, now this is something you're probably exactly as this exactly the same we were that yes exactly the same as um, it is on modex so in modex you would see something like this but you're not gonna see this you're gonna see that and uh, you're probably like what the beep is this because you have some people have no clue what HT access was I didn't even know what it was but now that I know how to use this I know how to do it so ignore everything below this we'll get there later but all you need to do is add two lines of code. So your thing should look something like this, and it might have this as well. It might have this as well below it. And you're gonna get real confused. You're like, what the heck is this? Well, basically, this is saying here that if you have a local install on the root, which is usually where you put modex, then it's saying grab the index.php file from the root directory, which is what it says. Now guess what? Good news. If you don't want the root directory, you need to delete this. So go and delete it now in your code. And once you delete it, um, you're going to need to add the following code above the rewrite engine. So make a space between the top here for the comments and add the word options plus follow the F in capitalized and symlink. This basically means, hey, look, get the friendly URL uh, plugin. And then here it says, hey, look, make sure it's on in the code of the server so we can actually write something. And then here, this is where you would add the folder name. So add another backslash and make sure it's not between. So once you do that, it should be then like the folder name. So if you put it inside the modex folder, just change that to modex. Pretty simple. And there you go, that would be your Modex file name. As you can see, here's an example, like it says, Modex. This is what's subject of screen. Okay, now you need to scroll down your file here. And this is a code that I borrowed from Stack Overflow. It works, and trust me, it's amazing. So you're going to have all this code. This is what Modex provides for you. We need to add this line of code right here if you're going to be doing this for uh, HT amount. 
So between the index.php request file name blah 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 and the friendly URL, you need to add this line of code. Basically what this says is get the file name, get the location modex folder, and then get the link of the site name of that ally and add the file extension HTML to it and then load it. That's all it says. Now if you wanted this to be PHP, uh, you would of course need to add that to the file extension which is not located in the HP access but it's located in content, content, type and you would need to add that to your script code. Um, very important that you do that but I prefer HTML. Um, it's very helpful and this code does work. That's all you guys need to do. Save it as your file name. And once you save your file out, uh, you can click the save button again as you would in Modex, which would be over here. This is of course not the same, but use the same process. Rename it to .htaccess. Clear the cache. And then now once you visit your website, if remember, if it is HTML, then once you visit the local uh, folder it's in, you see here, mine is inside of the uh, make a bio folder. And then if the uh, file does exist, and everything works out, now when you click that link that it's supposed to go to that you have in the template file, which mine would be about the HTML, it actually goes to that page and no longer gives you a 404 error page because now it's searching the core page of Modex and not your root directory. So I hope this fixed your problem guys on how to fix Modex error on friendly URLs inside of the Modex content management system. If you have any more questions leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and like if you like the video. Thanks guys, we'll talk later.